What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so this is the situation we have right here. We have the newest area of interest out in the central Atlantic. I told you the European was picking up on something, and boy, was it right. Let's go ahead and take a look at both of these real quickly. Let's go ahead and start with the one in the central Atlantic. A tropical wave located midway between the west coast of Africa and the Windward Islands continues to produce a large area of disorganized showers and thunderstorms. Some slow development of the system is possible over the next several days while it moves generally westward to west-northwestward over the central tropical Atlantic as it approaches the Windward Islands by the end of the week. Formation chance in the next 40 hours, 0%. It's not in that area of interest yet. This is where it's at. But it does have a 20% chance in the next five days. And... Yeah, this puts the the Lesser Antilles, potentially the Virgin Islands, even potentially Puerto Rico if we go further out, this potentially puts those areas in the line of fire. So we're going to have to continue to pay attention to that. I will continue to update you guys here on the Pat's Path Breaker channel, so be sure you subscribe to the channel. But with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at this one. A tropical wave located a couple hundred miles southeast of the easternmost Cabo Verde Islands is producing an area of disorganized showers and thunderstorms. Environmental conditions appear to be only marginally be marginally favorable. There is a little bit of wind shear in the area, so I completely understand that. And any, and any development of the system should be slow to occur while it moves westward or west-northwestward across the eastern tropical Atlantic through the end of the week. Formation chance in the next 48 hours is 0%, 20% chance in the next 5 days. Let's go ahead and pull up this. This is this area of interest we're talking about right here so yeah an area of interest we're gonna have to pay attention to nevertheless uh, but yeah let's go ahead and dive into some more uh, some more other dynamics right here first of all the global sea temperatures they are piping hot ladies and gentlemen especially uh, all the way over here we're looking at 29 degrees Celsius from basically the central tropical Atlantic all the way through the Windward Islands all the way through Puerto Rico into mo much of the Bahamas right there so yeah 84 plus degree water from basically the central Atlant Atlantic all the way up to the Gulf of Mexico and all the way off the coast of North Carolina right there. So that's an interesting setup that we're taking a look at. So, yeah, that's 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 quite uh, quite interesting because, you know, it's September. The waters are the warmest right now. Wind shear, there is a little bit more wind shear in this part of the tropics right now. So we're going to have to continue to keep an eye on that, uh, on it for that. So that's something we're going to have to pay attention to. This is this area of interest right there. The center of it's uh, about he about here. So, yeah, something that we need to continue to look at. So let's go ahead and take a look at the wind shear model. This is from the European model. Uh, this is this area of interest right there. Pay attention to that, this vorticity right here. As you can see it, there is a good chance of development. There's plenty of rotation, plenty of vorticity there for at least the next four days uh, as it's moving through. And it's even moving through better conditions as time continues to progress. But the European, after five, after about five days or so, doesn't really have that vorticity there. I'm not sure if it's because of a time difference or if it's because it's actually going to... Uh, that's the margin of error there is. But yeah, at least for the next five days, we have a good chance of development. Considering how the wind shear actually starts weakening in parts of the, east, uh, the Eastern Caribbean Sea if it does enter through there. So yeah definitely something to uh, continue to take a look at let's go ahead and take a look at the european ensemble members right there this is the 6z the 6z we're going to go ahead and go to the 0z just to show you guys because that's a longer range a uh, longer range model and we don't have access to the 12z yet so this is what we're looking at right here this is that area of interest that the european model has been kind of keeping an eye on and then the nhc finally designated this this was actually the tropical wave that moved off before uh this uh this one over here like, if we can pull up the... Yeah, this is the wave that moved off before this one. So it just took a little bit more extra time to develop right there. So let's go ahead and get back into this right here. So you can see there's a lot of ensemble members that start bubbling up. Kind of dies down, then bubbles up. That's how these systems go. And then this, and then as we move towards the Lesser Antilles, we look at some potential development, some strengthening, some as a strong tropical storm or weak hurricane as it moves through the, through the northern Leeward Islands right there and Virgin Islands as it's moving just north of Puerto Rico and D the Dominican Republic. We have some potential landfalls in, in parts of the Greater Antilles right there, as well as parts of Cuba. And, and once again, we have a lot of scenarios hitting the Bahamas. We have a couple of scenarios actually entering the the Gulf of Mexico and strengthening there. So, yeah, basically 
The area of interest I would designate, uh, I would designate at least for the next five days, would basically be from uh, from the Dominican Republic all the way to the Central Atlantic. This is 15 days out, so I'm taking it with a grain of salt. So, if you are from the Dominican Republic, uh, from the Dominican Republic eastward and southward, you need to pay attention to this. I'll continue to update you guys here on the Pat's Bath Predictor channel. But with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps me out and helps me make more videos like these. So Goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. But with that being said, have a wonderful day. Follow me on Twitter and stay safe.